Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of A Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT9, I'm my the explosive one, Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. Dude, I really am. We're playing that mother freaking Madden 21, and boys. We're playing the Steelers, dude. Well, that means you're gonna lose. Right? Probably. Oof. They make the they make the Steelers a lot harder than the normal teams you play in this game. It's like a plus half. You feel like the Steelers are harder. They make them harder because they're your rival. Really? I don't know. What if you were playing Michigan? <laughs> that would be like, wow, how'd that happen? Does Michigan not have a team? I mean, Detroit does. Oh, they, they, so they don't have a team. Yeah, dude. They're like <laughs> they, don't, they don't have a team. Yeah, dude. They basically don't have a team. Yeah. Oh, But, yeah, we get the Steelers at home for the last game of the year. This is the real schedule, so I guess that's what they get to do <laughs> this year, too. So it's always nice when they get to get their dreams crushed at the end of the season. Like, they finish it out strong with a nice, like, 44-6 to loss. It's always really nice when that happens. Steelers ain't winning nothing anytime soon anyway. Uh, yeah, I mean, Ben Roethlisberger's about done. He ain't got much left in his tank. He's been playing since, like, 03. So, I mean, he's getting up there. Him and him and Tommy Touchdown, they're about to be the last two. Tommy Two-Tone Touchdowns. Tommy Two-Tone Tone Down, dude. Have you ever worked for a place, Jonas, where they had a, pay a paycheck bounce? <laughs> No. No, really? No, I don't think so. Um, think. Okay, well, in that case, have you ever worked for the place one step below that that had the paycheck where you had to dispute it? <laughs> you had to dispute it every week, or at least you felt the need to dispute your dispute paycheck? Like, like you'll look at your paycheck money? and be like, oh, so they didn't pay me for that overtime I worked. Or this is different from last week's paycheck, and I worked the same amount of hours. Uh, No. I guess not. Really? I've, I've mainly worked for, like, corporate stuff, dude. Like, so, really? I mean, most of the time their practices are pretty good. I mean, wow. I've worked at, like, I worked at Wendy's. I worked at... <laughs> Wendy's seems like they'd be the place Yeah, to... but they're a corporate thing, dude. Yeah, I worked at uh, Papa John. I mean, like, they all... I guess I never paid... I mean, nothing was ever that far off that it was, like, a difference. You know what I mean? Like... I mean, do you... Do you recognize that, uh... That... A lot of these companies and a lot of these businesses are kind of like wage theft. Do you believe in wage yeah. theft? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I think a lot of that happens more with like smaller companies that are owned by a person. I mean, human error is human error is human error. I've worked. I've, the thing is, is that I've definitely experienced this. I've worked in uh, when I worked at Giant Eagle. <laughs> I experienced it where I'll be like, why is this check different if I work the same amount of hours and well, there's no overtime? I don't know. I would just have to dispute my paycheck. I always, I don't know. I have. And then when I worked in a couple of the, uh, like the healthcare things I've done uh, in my life, I've definitely had to dispute my paychecks. Interesting. You've never disputed a paycheck. Never one time in my life. This is absolutely crazy. You seem like the chain paycheck disputing guy. What are you trying to say about me? I'm, I'm not. Like the, am I the? I'll talk. To, I want to talk to your manager. What are you trying? <laughs> don't make me ask what these ice cubes <laughs> worth. Sort of guy. Like I seem like there's an extra charge. How much are the <laughs> ice cubes? <laughs> I mean, you, I, you, I'm not saying you're Kevin, all right? <laughs> I stand up for what's right. Dude. I'm not. <laughs> a yes, Kevin. I said every Kevin ever. A Kevin. I'm, I'm, not, not, saying, I'm not saying you're Kevin. Oh, poor Kevin. I'm you know not Kevin. He's an all right guy, he seems like. I'm just saying is that I could, I could definitely see you disputing a paycheck. I could. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, I don't I mean, know. If, if my paycheck was wrong, I absolutely would dispute it. I mean, why wouldn't I? Yeah, but just the fact that you've been living on this planet for, how old are you now, uh, 75? 17. Okay, yeah, 17 or 75 years old. Jonas is 75. Um, I'm not damn kids. <laughs> why did your voice change to that? You can talk like the way you do now. When I was 75 now, and now I stutter my voice when I speak. My gums get in the way, sonny. You know, I just got to get my dentures in. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'm going to talk when I'm old. This is what all people at 75 talk about. That's all they talk about is their dentures. No, my character at 75 talks like that, dude. You're Jonas at 75? 
Seventy-five year old I'm donuts. Be a jerk when I'm old. He just walks into the gas station. Yeah, my dentures. I'm like, oh, you have any bubble gum, Sonny? I need some big league chew. Huh? Yeah, yeah. And he's like, sir, I don't know what that is. And I'm like, go look it up on the Google webs, you know, because Google owns the internet now. Because by then they own the internet. They already own the internet. Shh. They already own it. Um, but yeah, anyways, no, I've never done that. <laughs> <laughs> Never disputed a paycheck, friend. All right. Well, this makes this makes this a hard bit to go on because I mean, I, I will play devil's advocate with you. I all mean, right. So I 100 percent believe that, like, okay. So the idea that I was going to get into is the fact that uh, there's certain people out there that misappropriate from their place of business. I already know that you're not in that that camp. Oh, were they like steal time? Were they steal time and or like? stuff from the business I'm, oh gotcha 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 yeah, so whether I'm, they like they falsify their hours or screw off on the clock all the time and work overtime when they're not really doing anything well like, yeah like uh like i poop on company time oh who doesn't man yeah like you know the, i make a the boss makes a dollar i make a dime that's why i poop on company time um and i have known people to like you know oh man the stapler ended up in my car and now it's in my home that type of thing <laughs> you know or like, <laughs> stapler. Or like, like oh, oh, I need some paper. Let me just take some paper from work. Or I like, need to print stuff. Let me just print it off at the at the business. Yeah, things or, like that. Yeah. Or like, oh man, I got I got a roll of tape from from the job, and now right, it's right. my like, roll. Oh, of tape. I got a hundred dollar bill in my pocket from. I mean, oops. And I was just gonna get into the fact of that. I think that the amount of money that is like taken in personal, like, just like, like petty theft from the job. Yeah. Is not as much as the mu- as the amount that the job steals from you through wage theft. Really? Do you think that? Like, I work for a big corporation now, yes. um, and like my paycheck is the same exact amount every time because I don't work overtime. So it's like every week it's the same amount always, yeah. constant. It never changes. So I never really. It's, and I've been working there for a decade. I guess so. you would have to work in like like a, a smaller scene, and and you say like big companies, but. I, I 100% guarantee you is that people working at grocery stores or working at uh, at even like these fast food chains, they experience these yeah, things. Yeah, and I think it's more of people who don't work the same set amount of hours every week. Because if you work 40 hours every week, boom, like you, your paycheck's supposed to be the same. And all, all of a sudden it was $30 short, and you're going to go, why is my paycheck short? But if you work 34 hours one week, 32 the next, work 47 the next, you, your well, paycheck's always a different amount. Well, punctuality, it, is, it changes when you have to commute A, and it changes when you, you know, just when you, when you clock in at a different time due to circumstance. Like you... You jump, on, you, you jump on your computer, you tap the button, you're clocked in, right? Well, yeah, even when I went to the office, though, it'd be the same thing. No, okay. Well, I, you know, I don't know. You know apparently, you, you've never experienced wage stuff. This is crazy. Oh, I probably me. have. I, I mean, know. or you, you didn't I mean, realize I mean, younger it. and worked at Wendy's and stuff, do they? I I'm sure they I guarantee you. I guarantee you. I mean, but I only made, like, seven cents an hour because I'm old, and then I started working I, minimum wage. I'm just well. really surprised that you never disputed. Like, man, I think they got me. Like I've definitely, I've definitely have had thousands of dollars taken from me that I was entitled to. Um, hot take. I have theft. never thought about it in my entire life until you just brought this up. Really? But I've also, but I've also never had a reason to like. I know that in, I know myself, and I know if I would have looked at my check and been like, "This isn't right. Something's wrong." I would absolutely have talked to him about it. But it's never been something that like I'm like. Oh man, they're trying to steal money. You know, like the thing is, is like as many paychecks as you've gotten in your life, and we're right. talking about like thousands of paychecks. I mean, I've been working for more than twenty years. Yeah, so, so thousands, yeah. tens of thousands of paychecks that you've gotten. I don't know how many. Yes, because I'm how many weeks in twenty years? <laughs> Not ten thousand. <000. laughs> There's, Never. There's, there's. If you get paid bi-weekly, in, in ten years you get two hundred and sixty checks. Okay, well, fine. The thousands. Five hundred checks you've gotten. F- f- five thousands of paychecks that you've gotten. Right. You, you don't think that there was ever a clerical error? Well, now I do. <laughs> no, I'm about to go audit all that <laughs> ish, dude. <laughs> no, 
LDS Micro, you've been closed for 20 years. You better think I ain't coming for you let, let, out of my paycheck, dude. Let me tell you right now, there are mistakes on those checks, man. And it's it is perfectly fine. You got to think, they're doing not just the, the thousands of paychecks you've gotten, but they're doing that for thousands of other employees a lot of right, time. Right, right, so right. There, there's going to be a mistake. There's going to be. It can't. It can't all just line up perfectly. Yeah, there was only like that. That was the only one company I worked for. It was like a small computer business, and I did like tech support for them. Yeah. Um. They were. They. They had outsourced through like a local ISP, like dial-up internet tech support, mm -hmm. and I worked in their their little side building, and we were just two people would hang out and take uh dial-up internet calls, and there was only so much we could do to to troubleshoot them. But that's all we did. And, like, there, I remember working there and, like, not the paychecks, like, uh, not being cash, but, like, there was, like, once or twice that, like, we were supposed to get paid on Friday and they were just like, you haven't brought the checks. We don't have them yet. And oh, like, okay. So, But it was, like, but. This is close. This is close. But the only thing, like, like that only happened once or twice and it was, like, then they called us on, like, Saturday morning and were like, hey, we have the checks now. You can come up and pick them up. But still, it's still shady, dude. Like. Okay, so. That's another aspect right there. So we wage theft is one thing. The bounce paycheck, that's like, I've never experienced a bounce paycheck. Yeah, right. But I know it's a thing. The late paycheck, though, like, how, how do you handle that? Because me, myself, like, you have every right to be just inflammatory at that point. Well, right. You go to work on time. You're expected to be on time. You schedule your bills and grocery shopping and everything on based on exactly. the day you're going to get paid. And they're like, oh, sorry, we ain't going to have your check for three days. You're like, I have no groceries and no money. I've, yeah, now I have I've no run gas. The I have no, like, I need that money. You have every right to be just like a... Comp Ill. <laughs> right? Yeah. But I'd be like, like well, who give me $100 because I need gas. I need food. Like, give me 100 bucks. But they get you with, like, the feeling of, like, you can't yell at Becky in HR it because it's Becky not, it's not Becky's fault. fault. It's not. Right, it's not. It's some dude in corporate who forgot to... Yeah. Or it's some dude in the mail room. This particular company guy was an a-hole, um, and he... I mean, he didn't care, because there was... This is the same dude who, like, we would work on, like, Saturdays, and, like, I distinctly remember... You know, like, much it would snow in Ashtabula? And we looked, We had, like, a parking lot, and it was right on uh, Route 20, and there was, like, a dip going down into the parking lot, up out to the road. It snowed, like... 14 inches that day sounds about right the, the snow plow had driven down the street and there was like a three foot pile of snow at the end of the at the driveway and like 14 inches in the parking lot and we're like hey he needs to send someone to plow the parking lot we can't get out and we had to sit there for an hour after he had all effing day to send someone to plow that parking lot <laughs> we we had to sit there an hour after work waiting for someone to come to, so we could get out. Like, we could drive yeah. through the 14 inch. We couldn't get out of the end of the driveway. Yeah, yeah. We didn't have a shovel. We couldn't do it ourselves. Like, it was just like we were at his whim, and <laughs> you better be sure I put that F an hour on my paycheck. Like, F you, dude. I'm not Did sick. you get paid for it? Uh, I believe I did, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, honestly, I didn't check, so probably didn't. He oh, probably, see? I mean, I, I mean, back, I don't remember. This is 20 years ago. But I may, I probably have you. Do check. you do you even like check? I mean, like honestly, it's since direct deposit has been a thing, it's been a thing for like forever. Oh yeah. I feel like they're more apt to get away with some with some effery than they ever have before. Yeah. yeah oh yeah. But I know I check. Uh, I'm pretty on top of my budgeting and stuff. So like, I mean, I know I check every week when my paycheck's supposed to go because it splits between two accounts. Like mm -hmm. one's like a grocery spending account, one's like a bills account, and. Uh, I just make sure the same amounts go, you know, because it's, it's the same amount every effing time, unless I work a little bit of overtime. Sometimes I get like an hour overtime or, you Sometimes know. you're not there for a day. I don't know. I've, I've, I can 100% say is that at least on one, one time, possibly more, where I've not been paid for an entire shift. Like a whole day? I can, I can say that at least one time. If not more. Now, yeah, that, now that I would be like, yo, 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 I worked an extra day and you guys paid me for 40. Where's my extra pay? Yeah, yeah, I could see that being a thing. Like, I would lose my, oh yeah, I would lose my head over that, dude. Yeah. Like, I thought you meant, like, they're all like, oh, they, I worked 35, they paid me for 34. You're like, no, 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 I worked 40, they gave me 32. I'm like, no, okay, then, yeah, we have no problem. <laughs> Taking twenty percent of my I'm payout. Just, I'm just saying is that I I know for a fact that I've been a, a victim of wage theft. And you know now that you're talking about this, I do feel like I've had like a flash of like, oh yeah, of like 
my paycheck was shorted. Like, because my boss didn't put in my extra day I worked. Or yeah, I, I just, like yeah, I'm telling you, man. It's, it's so, it's can't really sit here and think that you haven't experienced it's, it in some capacity. It's never been a common thing. It's not sure. super common or it's not, it's not super detectable is what the right. issue is. But a lot of times it's like an error like on somebody. Like your boss doesn't update your time. You're like, I've worked at jobs where you're responsible for your time card. And if you don't fill it out, that's on you. But I've worked at other jobs that your boss does it. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, I forgot you work Saturday. Like, yeah. well, mother effer, I want those eight hours of overtime right on my effing paycheck. When yeah, get yeah. Oh, probably next pay period. You're like, oh, you you even know the, that's that's what they go to. That's their go to. Oh, we'll put that on the next check. So now you have to check the next check to make sure that they gave you the proper amount of hours. Well, right. Check. Well, because here, but check this, because then if you work an extra shift the next time, then you get p taxed even more because you have even more hours. And on the and it is that too. Then they're taxing you, and, I, and, and while while that's minimal, still you still have to make sure is that they put all that money onto your check that i i hate it dude I, ooh, you got me heated I got you, you got me i'm like mm, i'm sweating right ooh. now on the inside I'm sweating on the inside just thinking about wage theft. that was a risky play it was fourth and goal we were down by four it's not real football it is because <laughs> it's fourth quarter and i if three points wouldn't have put it wouldn't have, wouldn't have tied the game no, no i'm just messing with you i know you are but i just wanted to let you know that you're fishing real fish off dude uh, but yeah, dude. It, yeah, I mean, it ha and like I think that some companies do that maliciously too. I've heard a lot of that happening. Maliciously like, is well, illegal, though. Well, I think I think I've heard a lot about that st that source of happening in like the construction industry and stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, because like it's just you're just going to some dude and getting your a lot of them pay cash under the table. So like if you okay, this is cheaper. Thing, to, it's cheaper paid, on them to be messy. Yeah, if you get paid cash under the table and you go to talk to your boss and he gives you like three hundred bucks for whatever and you're supposed to make four, what do you what can you do? Nothing. Other than be pissed at him because you're doing it under the table anyway. <laughs> that that's illegal though. Oh, that being, just makes it sound like a racket. Well, I mean being paid under the table is illegal, period. Yeah. Oh take oh you F and A, how right now? Fake your knees. Yeah, it's just a racket at that point. And like I said, man, a lot of companies like filling out your own time card, I feel like that's bull crap. I come there to work. I come there to do the job that you hired me for. I'm right. not coming there to keep your effing books. So now, if you got me keeping my own card, then I'm gonna be. I'm gonna have an extra 15 minutes on the beginning and the end of my uh, my shift. Well, but no, because I mean, no, from the beginning of the time, people had time. They had to walk into the factory, grab their time card, click it in the clock when they walk in, click it in the clock when they walk out. Oh, see, I'm talking about like. Oh, you have a missed punch type of thing. Like, oh, the, the machine was down and it didn't read your clock in, so you have to fill out the card type thing. And then you have to write in the times that you got there. Yeah, but essentially, like, by... God damn, they're scoring fast. What the F? No, but, like, just by me having to log into a website and punch in 9 a.m. enter... Like, it's the same as hitting a time clock. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the person that goes to a job. They have to go up to the time clock. The time clock's not working, so now they have to fill out the little, oh, the little card. You, you got to fill it out with a pen that says, you know, you got in at this time. Or, you know, you were late to your lunch break. Or you didn't take a lunch break at your designated time, so now you got to fill out the card. Or you, you didn't take a lunch break at all today, so you got to fill out that card. And those cards are basically you taking care of their books. Yeah, oh, I don't yeah. complain a lot, Jonas, but I feel like wage theft has costed me thousands of yeah. dollars. Well, it's funny, like, uh, what I think is a real thing is, like, the thing where they, like, they screw, like, you, when you have assigned lunches and stuff, and it's, like, it's uh. very corporate, and it's, like, it's like you have to go at 7.45 to 8 o'clock, and if you go at 7.48, you get an occurrence, and you get 10 occurrences, and you get fired. They You're like, write, they write you up for not taking your lunch at the right or time? Or coming back two minutes late, or going, you know, or, you know, it's like, they're like, you know, your lunch time's at 1.30. We've been noticing you've been going about 1.40, 1.45. Mm. Like, that really affects the capacity of our call center, and you should be going. And you're like, really, that's that's what you are that's what you got to talk to me that's, about today? That's what's affecting the, the call center. Yeah, me going me. to lunch 10 minutes late. <laughs> My yep. lunch break. Yep. <laughs> Bringing the whole business down. <laughs> right? Oh, ish. All right, dude. Uh, that was all the time we have today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed our content. Uh, if you've already done that, he does Twitch things. Yeah, watch your paycheck, kids. The TNT playoffs Dynam are next, dude. I'm glad I can't wait. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 
10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT, D-I-N-O, M-I-G-H-T, underscore crazy town at twitch.tv. All right, for Jonas. That was way closer than it should have been. We are, uh,